Hey, what's up guys? Joe Young here. Coming at you with another video for an update on the 60P. Probably you guys are wondering why we're staring at some boxes. That's right, this is the update. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, uh, I did a rescape on the tank, so I wanted to show you guys, um, I guess, some of the process of the rescape. So uh, let's go ahead and queue up this video real quick and sit back, put on some music, enjoy a little bit, and then we'll come back with the update. All right guys, welcome back. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed that process. Uh, the tank here isn't really fully uh, filled up, so that's why it's a little noisy here and also I'm cooking something, but uh, yeah, here it is. Here's the, here's the final outcome. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, I pretty much went kind of with a sand beach uh, theme. Uh, I, I saw some other tanks and I kind of wanted to try this out myself. It's, the top portion is a little messy still just because um, some of the ADA soil kind of mixed in there and it's kind of uh, whatever you know it's going to be like that as you notice the bottom isn't completely sand I did keep a little bit of ADA soil slash uh, the power sand down there just so that these uh, aerials uh, when they root they'll grab and they'll have something to root onto uh, I've been using I guess uh, root tablets next to these guys as well just because the sand doesn't really have much nutrients for the or uh, for those plants anyways but again this tank is going to be a, a Roos Flandra tank plus you know some extras here and there uh, might try some stuff but mainly Bruce uh, as you notice I've tied some on the branches and we'll see how those go they started to develop a little bit of algae but you know that's okay this has kind of been a new tank um, and it's, been cycled for probably like two weeks so far. I did have to keep the, the fish outside for about a week or so just because it did do a mini cycle. Even though I did use uh, the same substrate, you know, the filters were all good to go. Um, but there was a, a mini cycle. So the plants on here on the far left um, are the ones I'm trying to still sell. I do still have a little bit left of the Bruce if you guys are still interested in getting some and also have some in the top container there and again you know the links are on the bottom if you guys want to purchase some of those uh, the rest of the Bruce are the ones that I want to kind of establish in the tank and eventually once those grow out you know I'll be selling cuts and stems of those as well but let's go ahead and talk about the scape a little bit and thought process and whatnot but uh, I had the Dragonstones laying around from ADU I had bought like a while back. I kind of integrated to some of my tank and took it out so I figured you know I haven't had a tank with the Dragonstone rocks yet so I might as well let's go ahead and try to use it and that's why I did and it turned out really great. These two branches I picked up from um, my local pet store they had a sale going on and you know it was pretty cheap so I picked up two pieces yes that's just two pieces combined into one. Um, and it looks great. 
the soil is the same. Like I said, the sand is from ADA. Uh, I believe it's Colorado sand, so it's a little bit more white, but yeah, it's a little dirty here just because a lot of the the ADA Amazonian soil debris kind of relanded on that sand. So that's why it's a little dirty, but hey, what what not? But anyways, um the little fish that I had in my 25 gallon is the white clouds. I put them in there. You can still see them swimming around on top. I have all of the celestial daniels combined into one tank, so they're also in there. And the other new fish that I have in here are some new plecos and also some dwarf puffers. So let me go ahead and, and get a close up and let's try to take a look at them. Here's the cute little puffers. Got five of those guys. They're actually pretty mean. Mean little fishies. Uh, not, they actually haven't been do too, doing too bad, but oh, here we go. You guys are in luck. That is the new Plucko. That is the blue phantom pleco. I got two of those guys. Basically, it's black and the spots there are blue. And some of the fins and the top and the bottom are also blue. It's a little baby. So, I've still got some ways to go. I believe they only grow to be about like six inches or so. Very cool pleco. And yeah. I know, um, the only new change I did to this tank, other than not use the escape, uh, equipment wise, um, I removed the diffuser on here, uh, and because I, ha I had the diffuser going from here into the intake, I actually just got a new one, it's a used one, but it's awesome, so it's an in-house diffuser, so, basically locks in there, and just goes straight into there and it gets blown right out to here. So it works a lot better. Oops, let me kinda put this back real quick. But yeah, I'm excited for these little plecos. Anyways guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about the scape, uh, the plants to set up. And uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.